All right, farmers, it's Friday the 29th of September, and we're back with some mods. So first up is Southern Brazil Shed. This is by GNFS 5.42 megabot on the download. You're going to find both of these in the construction menu and on the buildings and sheds. So we'll scroll away along to the end. There we are. 30 grand for the brown one, and then 35 grand for the white one. Bit of extra colour on it. Fair enough. Obviously, that's got a bit of rendering on bit work, and this is just straight bricks. But that being said, though, I mean, I like that. You know, it's sort of like at the bottom of the walls, you always get that bit of <laughs> crud or whatever you want to call it. And on the doors as well, driving past, dusty environment, that sort of thing. That's ace. We come into it like that. There we are. Open the door like that, right by the handle. And it's a shed. Fair enough. I mean, you've got the options to turn the lights on. That being said, I haven't got my help when you put the help window on. Be a good idea. So, no, there's no lights there. Unless they just come on automatically at night time, which you probably do. Oh, fair enough. That's all right. And then, obviously, the second one, the cladded one. Got that white sort of whitewashed stone cladding, whatever you want to call it, on the side there. Inside, bit of green on the framework. Yeah, I like them. I mean, both got side pieces on. This one's got the support legs. I mean, the other one is just like a bit of an awning, mind you. But being said, well, they're all right. My right, next up is Lizard Animal Barns. This is by Mr. Hector. 62.31 megabyte on the download. And we've got four. Fair enough. So, in the construction menu, we've got under animals and then chickens to start with. 136 grand. Going to get yourself a chicken coop. 500 capacity on that one. We then move over to this one, which is going to be under sheep. And that's going to hold 197. Oh, going to hold. It's going to cost you 197 grand and hold 300 sheep. We then move over to the pigs. We then got under that one there 209 grand, and that's going to hold 300 pigs. And then the last one on the end is horses. So go into that one there like that. They are 158 and a half grand to buy 16 horses going into there. Now these are ace. Must admit, I mean the detail work on it. I mean look at the extras on the wall there you know the dirt coming off the windows you know a bit of cladding that's fallen off the side that's ace when you come in here like that open up that door you've got your egg pallet spawn point on the chicken coop although to be fair i've only placed these down like 10 minutes ago and it's already produced some eggs that's all right got the option as you walk through the door turn the lights on come through here like that there you are there's all my chickens there's all my kfc buckets <laughs> Excellent. You got a door that opens the other end if you wanted to. And we'll come out there like that. Here's going to be your loading in point for your food. Now you can open this hatch up. You don't need to. I did load my trailer in without opening it up. So, you know, entirely up to you. Fair enough. Chicken's outside having a run around. Then we've got the sheep pen. Let's so open up this door. Now inside here is where you're going to be chucking all your food in. Drive through option on the go if you wanted to. Then we've got out this side there is your wool pallet spawn point. And then right the way down the other end, it's going to be your animal dialogue box. Actually, that's the point. Animal dialogue box for the chicken coop is just there as well. And I like these new icons. You've got that one for the chickens just there. You've got this one for the sheep as well. I mean, that's little things. Little things, please, little minds. But that's ace. I mean, open up that door if you wanted to like back a trailer in, that sort of thing. Oh, I like it. I like it. But then move on to the pigs. So down this end on the pigs, we've got the slurry taken out point. Got the option to open up that door if you wanted to. <laughs> There's my little bacon sandwiches. Oh, excellent. And we come through this door. There we are. And this point here is saying there, that icon, you need a straw blower. Well, I loaded it in with a normal trailer. So just do whatever you feel you need to. Fair enough. Water troughs in there, you don't need to fill them up, they are already filled for you, so no problem. Open up that door, we come around here. You've got a loading in point for bales. But if you want to do bales, bring in there. If you want to do loose stuff, chuck it in over there. Again, the same with the chickens. Got this point there, you don't need to open it up. If you want to just back up with a trailer, just crack on. And then you've got your animal dialogue box. Look at that, that's ace. And then next to that, obviously, there you are. Look at him, having a little run around in the mud. <laughs> All right, boy. All right, fair enough. Next, the last one, we got the horse bum. So you've got your food going into there. They're all loading up, having a munch. Fair enough. 
We then come into this door if you wanted to. You go inside, you know, sort them out, give them a brush down, that sort of thing. And then we'll come around here. You've got your animal dialogue box just there. And then here, you've got a loading in point for your straw, but this is only bales. I mean, I tried backing up my trailer and it didn't accept it, but I chucked a bale in, no problem. Which means that the horse is going to produce manure. Hmm, I mean, you will need to place a manure heap down. None of these, well, I say none of these, the horse and the pigs haven't got the manure facility, so you will need to place a heap down. But that being said, the buildings have look great. Just all that extra, I'm going to call it extra junk, but, you know, little, little details of, you know, as a building gets old, it's, oh, look at that. It's like, like a water sign. Oh, I like these. These are very nice. Right, next up is the John Deere 712 Mulch Tiller. This is by Rooster Mods, 9.11 megabyte on the download. You're going to find it under plows. So it requires 130 horsepower from your tractor, 3.4 meter working whip, 7 mile an hour working speed, 17 grand to buy. You then got the option of warning equipment, triangle, so puts it on the back like that, stickers, all of it or none of it. Oh, where's this? Oh, it puts those stickers on the side, just like on the ends there. Like reflective stickers. Fair enough. Weights, none. Thousand pound. Well, what's that in kilos? Oh, I don't do maths. All right, fair enough. Or nothing. You then got nine shanks, 11 shanks, 13 shanks. That being said, let's put it up. So 3.4 starts off at nine shanks. You then got 11 shanks, 4.2 meter, 13 shanks, 4.9, and then back to nine. That being said, though, that looks all right. We might got the springs on the go. Yeah, very nice. Our next up is the Okrama Kane 300. This is by SMI Modding Team. 14.15 megabyte on the download. And you're going to find it under cultivators. 130 horsepower requirement from your tractor. 3 meter working width. 10 mile an hour working speed. 21 grand. There is no options. But that looks awesome. Awesome. I mean, I know it's three meters, so that put a lot of people off. But, you know, if you're doing some small farming shenanigans, that's just the ticket for it. But the detail on that, I mean, the pipe work for the hydraulics, the springs, and the bolts, that looks awesome. Absolutely awesome. Love it. Right, we're sticking with the SMI modding team for the next one. The Valentini Ripper 5500, 5.22 megabyte on the download. You're going to find it under subsoilers. Now... Yeah, I do like a square end on the back there. It just makes ploughing, let's face it, subsoil is our ploughs. just makes it doing fields a lot easier. 180 horsepower requirement from your tractor. 5 metre working with 7 mile an hour working speed. 16,400 to buy. And again, SMI modding team. The details on your mods are awesome. That looks ace. What well, seems to be the SMI modding team is the third mod from them today. This is the Valentini Maxi Squalo 5200, 20.22 megabyte on the download, and it's under power harrows. And again, SMI modding team, amazing, absolutely amazing detail on their mods. 230 horsepower requirement from your tractor, 5.2 meter working width, 4 mile an hour working speed, 16 and a half grand. You got the option on this one of either a cage roller or rice roller or packer roller. Or back to cage roller, rice roller. That looks proper mean. I mean, again, I mean, just look. I mean, I've said it on the previous two, mind you, but these are awesome. Absolutely brilliant looking machines. And yet it's turned into the SMI modding team show because this is the SAC S780H by SMI modding team and Ramon. 20.65 megabyte on the download. You're going to find this under manure spreaders. But it's not just a manure spreader. We'll come back to that shortly. 25,000 litre capacity, 220 horsepower requirement from your tractor, 14 metre spread width, 9 mile an hour working speed, 48 grand. You then got the option to change it from a manure spreader, manure spreader and extensions that puts up to 32,500 litres, silage trailer, 27,000 litres, trailer and extension again. All right, 34,500. So does that mean it's. Manure spreader, silage trailer, silage trailer extension, okay, then back to manure spreader. So obviously that's going to do your silage usual sort of shenanigans. Be back out there. So you've got your usual, you've got manure, you've got your grass, your sugar cane, that sort of thing. 
Right, fair enough. So we'll put the extensions on. Usual shenanigans, Trelleborg, Michelin, BKT, Vredestein, and back to Trelleborg. A couple of different options knocking through there. Then you've got sides, wooden 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 side, which is a bit of wooden paddling, which I was trying to say all at once. Smooth sides, groove sides, or wooden sides. You then got stable extension, hydraulic extension, standard, or hydraulic extension again. Stand. Oh, right. Okay, I've got you. Stable extension is the actual category. So you've got standard or hydraulic extension. Fair enough. Spreader systems, you've got augers, drums, augers, and long back door, or back to augers. Main colour, green or black. Oh, I like that. See, that looks right in the black. That does. You've got green, black, and stainless steel on the back bit. Rim colour is obviously rim colour. That looks all right, actually. And the back and the stainless steel. What if we change wooden side? Move. Oh, smooth sides. That is ace. Very nice. The last mod for the day is the Big Bud S3 Large Frame. This is by Bala 2003, 28.78 megabot on the download. And both of these are going to be found under large tractors. Now, we've got a large frame, and then we've got the Walker's Big Bud 650. So this is the original one, the 650 from the Walker Farms. 600 horsepower, 19 mile an hour top speed, 250 grand. You then got the usual shenanigans with the tyres, and then we... We have got some quality ones. If we go back to Trelleborg, you've got your twins, you've got different versions of twins, but also we get to it. There we are, I've got triples. Oh, excellent. Trips on a big bus. Why not? Now, the one with the options is going to be the Series 3 large frame. So this starts off with a 400 horsepower engine, and that's going to change in configuration, original or industrial. So if you want a bit of an orange version, go for that. Engine setup, so 400 to standard, 450, 4, 525, 600, and then back to 400. So again, it matches the of the original one, mind you, which has got lower power options if you wanted to go for it. Same options on the tyres, you know, you go for the triples or the twins or whatever you want to go for, that's ace. You then got filter, short, long one, long two, twin, or short again, exhaust, small, large, or small. Beacon lights, yes or no. Warning triangle, we'll spin it around the back like that. Yes or no. Then you've got GPS system, yes or no. Puts that on the roof. Obviously, it's just for aesthetics for us on console. Front work lights, standard, LED or nothing. Back work lights, standard or LED. Then you've got your axle. And if you look underneath there, so it's sort of like rounded. Then you've got type 2, it's more beefed up. Right, fair enough. So more rugged terrain it can handle. Oh, these are ace. I mean, I've gone for the triples on this. Look at the state of it. Oh, that's awesome. Come on, tractor. There you are. I mean, triples on a big bud. Oh, it's just Welka Farms all over again, though, isn't it? That is brilliant. But a few updates as well. We've got the John Deere 6R Extra Large Fame by Chrissy136. We've got the Lizard Homemade Trailer by Puzzcap. Got the GDR building package by Vertex Design. And we've got the old sheepfold by VX Mapping. So that's your mods done for you. Why not hit that join button? Come join us on Andy's Farm. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. It's muchly appreciated. But for me, that's it for today. And I'll see you in the next one.